Do I have hypothyroidism or adrenal fatigue? Adrenal fatigue tends to hit people suffering from high amounts of stress like soldiers. Chronic overwork under tight deadlines or jumping out of airplanes and other high-risk sports often. I have been stressed out a lot. Adrenal fatigue can cause you to feel tired even after a long sleep, and you have trouble getting up in the morning. So can hypothyroidism. When someone's stress levels are high, they don't sleep well. Fortunately, literally chilling out and relaxing so you can sleep well can correct for it while your thyroid wouldn't recover. Unless the adrenal fatigue is bad. Adrenal fatigue makes your blood sugar really low in the morning, and this can force you to wake up for late night snacks. Hypothyroidism causes you to feel tired too. But hypothyroidism can make you more sensitive to cold, constipation, dry skin, weight gain and hoarseness. Late night snacking and lack of sleep can cause weight gain too. That's why night shift workers are way more likely to be obese. A thyroid failing to produce enough hormones will cause stiffness in your joints, muscle aches, thinning hair and a slowed heart rate that adrenal fatigue won't. But they can both be mistaken for depression, both cause fatigue, and if you're down enough, both cause impaired memory. Only a decreased thyroid will cause goiter, decreased body temperature and elevated cholesterol. If I have hypothyroidism, it is nowhere severe enough to cause those symptoms. What symptoms should I look for with regard to adrenal fatigue? Adrenal fatigue adds to anxiety and irritability while making you unable to get energized, because you're using up the adrenaline just dealing with daily life. Adrenal fatigue can also happen because the adrenal glands simply slow down. Hypothyroidism is most likely in women over 60. You're nowhere near old enough. The hard part is that hypothyroidism can slow down or suspend your period, while all the stress that causes adrenal fatigue can do the same. So I have that symptom, but don't know what I have. The only sure test is a blood test, to see which hormones are too low or too high. So then I get to stress out as to what is wrong. You could have high adrenaline levels from stress and thyroid problems. Though I hope you don't end up causing one condition worrying about the other. Then I need to talk to the doctor to see what I have. And avoid high stress conditions to minimize the risk of making your adrenals worse and using up energy if your thyroid is acting up. That becomes an interesting excuse for not driving in rush hour traffic. <laughs>